Hi guys and welcome back to the show. Today we continue spiffing up our backyard with some real backyard art. So let's not waste any more time and get right down to this. Where we left you guys last time, we had just finished gluing the tiles to the backing board. Now we are going to make a frame for the artwork. And since it's going to be painted, I'm just using scrap wood. The fence on my planer is really flimsy, so I'm only planing the faces, and I'll clean up the sides on the table saw. Nomad makes. The design of the blade guard on the DeWalt DWE 7485 is really thought through, and one of the features I have really come to appreciate is that it has this slit in the middle that you can aim through when setting up the fence. Looking at these cuts on video and in retrospect, I would suggest that it is safer to keep the off cut away from the fence. Or if you do it like this, at least make sure that the notch on your push tip is deep enough to grab the off cut, so that it gets pushed all the way through. We are mitering the frame, and this was the way I came up with to check the angle on the miter saw.
the inside edges of the frame pieces need a, a little bit of adjustment and for that I set up a planing stop on my MFT and used my Stanley Handyman H1247 block plane. Not knowing the exact dimensions of the artwork beforehand, I used relative dimensioning to get the frame pieces the correct size and to get a good looking reveal between the frame and the tiles. A simple method of checking your work for square is to measure the diagonals. If they measure the same, you are okay. The edge of the frame extends behind the backing plate. That way the backing plate won't touch the wall when the picture is hung and there will be some airflow. Remember that this is going to live outside. Looking at the frame I was happy with the reveal, but I thought that a chamfer on the inside would look good. The blue painter's tape I used earlier didn't stick that well to the wood, so for the glue up I used this wider type of painter's tape.
and the glue I'm using is rated for outdoor use. Since I don't have any water in my shop, I always keep some of these wet wipes around for cleaning up any squeeze out. This video is becoming long, so unfortunately I have to cut it there. In the next and last part we will make splines for the frame and finish this project, so make sure not to miss that one. But like I said, that is it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a thumbs up. If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. Should you want to support me, you will find a Patreon link and affiliate links to products I use and recommend below. If you don't feel like that, you can always help by telling your friends about the channel on your social media of choice. Cheers guys, I'll catch you in the next one.